All right, folks, Grimwit here. Look, this first episode when I recorded it didn't have any sound. Now, I've already uploaded that video with now, without sound, but I have decided to uh, <laughs> not have that video up anymore because it's just my voice narrating images, which is really boring. So that's getting pulled out. Instead, me and a guy, a uh, uh, viewer called Captain Kiwi, who has been ha happy enough to help me out, have provided sound effects with our voice, like with our vocal cords. And this, like I haven't put it all together yet, but I am fucking exhausted after doing that. Either this is gonna go right, or it's gonna go really wrong. Either way, I mean, with or without sound, it's a pretty shitty video. Maybe you should just go on ahead to uh, Kona Part 2, and uh, I'll join you there later. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Mystery Hour. There we go. Today is one I know nothing about except that it has something to do with detectives. I got my water ready. And let's see. What will this do? Please work. Huh. Seems to be working all right. Look, loading screens. So, Kona. Uh, I know nothing about this. I was told that only that it was a survival detective story and that it wasn't very long I guess we'll find out I also don't know if there's any speakering either where did I get this? I got it somewhere did somebody gift it to me? I like the music let's get started first and foremost Music's good, but not that good. Uh, do we have subtitles? Enabled. Good, good, good. Voice volume should be highest. Okay, apply. Is there no back options? How do I say no? Oh, there we go. Escape, I guess. All right, let's get going. Oh, God, so many choices. Uh, let's just start left to right. Loading. Loading. I've been practicing my goofy voice. It's terrible. All of my voices are cringe. I hope you're ready for cringe. Oh man, best loading screen. Look at all that white. Whoa, hi. Uh, it's October 1970 in Quebec. Carl Farber sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since returned from Korea after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with them regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it's always been. The client pays, Carl gets her done. Okay, I didn't see those controls enough in time. I. Oh, okay, this is... They had set up a meeting at the general driving. store, his client's business. Well, actually, the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over it. I wonder what the speed limit is here. 50. Ah. Uh, 
I played enough my summer car to not push it. When the roads were bad or muddy or snowed in, it was customary around these parts to close them off. But it was also customary to ignore Quick. those signs entirely and drive there stomp. anyway. Stomp, 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 mm. stomp, 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 stomp. Oh, okay. Huck. Control. Oh. Huck. Okay. <laughs> it was customary for people to just dig around in the trash like a raccoon. Yep. I guess that's the Quebecian flag. What? What? I hope we get some explanation for some of this. Um, I guess I'm going up here. Oh man, so far this is the best Stanley Parable fan game I've seen. Oh, hey. Um. Do, 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 do. Take some of that. Take these. Just steal. Just steal everything. Yeah. All right. Well. That was useful. Um, we got electricity in the shack. Be kind, close doors. Hello? Hello. Good God. Oh, hey. Alright, where are we? I have no frame of reference here, except, I don't know, this seems to be the entrance of some place. So we're at a rest stop, probably either here or here. Oh, hey. Handy. R for read. Previous and next. All right, good to know. It will be good. Let me read this. Flip. Or, okay. Uh, inexhaustible resources. Yeah, that's, that sounds like the 80s to me, although this is 1970. In the province of Quebec six in an inexhaustible abundance of natural resources. Why not take advantage of this? Just, just rape the land. Our valuable minerals could travel the world and reach places as far as Dallas, USA. That's right, the whole world. Oh, as far as Dallas. Get involved and invest now. Now! Mexicans is much weekend at the heart of the wilderness, north swarming wolves. It's swarming with wolves, caribou's, bears, partridges, foxes, snowy owls, and hordes of other majestic creatures that are every bit as equal of African wildlife. Swarms and hordes, they're coming for you. They're coming for your women. We're the Africa of America. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mmm. <laughs> Come discover the north and experience the genuine white jungle. Oh, Jesus. This. Oh. Mmm. Ah. Uh, county of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. Okay. <laughs> Can I stop? <laughs> Uncomfortable. So, I get the feeling we're helping some guy out, and we are, I don't know, a private dick. Hamilton never mentioned a roadblock and barrier. Why was it needed in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. I am Carl, purveyor of crimes... Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Clink! Carl had to figure Clink. this one out by himself. Clink. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Clip. 
Let's get down to business and crimes. I got in here via crime. How do I... Oh, drive. There we go. Crunk, chunk. All right. William Hamilton enjoyed a lavish country house built in the very heart of the northern forest. Not too far from here. Okay, so the local populace was divided when it came to the affluent man. Some saw the wealthy philanthropist <gasps> dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortune. And these ones hated him enough to go on to scheming against him. Crap! Hamilton had recently acquired a few local businesses, but the last straw was the reopening of the mine which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the free people. It's not letting me step out! Given these circumstances, Carl reckoned a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton, in one way or the other. So far, only the industrialist house has been a target. But soon enough, Carl thought, the target would become the man himself. The hell is that? <laughs> Have you seen a little girl, eight years old, black hair? <sighs> Gripping. A few hours later. Okay, Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and pain required urgent care. Right, Carl, what the hell just happened? Well, I guess it's time for us to get into the out into the wild white jungle you guys okay in here the driver had taken off it was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chance I mean Carl needed help it was a small lock box engraved with the letters WH Carl thought about taking it nothing would be left to chance Creek. the Okay. Such heart-wrenching Nordic poetry that was. <laughs> Carl didn't care about the flowery language. When you disappeared, so did purity. Or defend purity against the winds, the tides, and against the ice blizzards. Slim. She's disappeared. She had the Scratches didn't stop Carl. His mother would be so proud. Keeps narrating my life. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. His life depended on it. Carl's in bad shape. He needs to heal his womb and warm up his body before going any further. Well, you know, he could warm up in, say, a car or something. We're gonna die out here with this. It was so cold. Already Carl didn't feel his toes anymore. Get, get some running. I mean, the worst thing we could. God. You saved the game at a heat source, huh? How about we close the goddamn window? What? My brain is going down. Give me any one. I have eye. I have black eye. Alright, we're gonna take that. Take. Take. Who's the fire starter? Twisted fire starter? Oh, hell yeah. Um. I. I'm missing fuel. Okay. Can we burn in this joint? Is, is there no, like, wood or something? 
I don't feel so good. Excuse me a sec. Carl back. couldn't give up. Surely something in there could be useful. The stack of wood outside? Did, did you see a stack of wood? The whole house is made of wood. Why can't I just take some of the house? Oh, hey. Stack of wood. Okay, let's take a log. Kraut turned into pain. Kraut needed to find someplace warm. Narration turned into pain. Oh my god. There we go. Heat up, warm up, get my brain up, get my eye up. Alright. Oh. Feels good, man. So, okay, we got heat. This is a shack. I think this is an emergency shack. What? Chink, chink. Even better than he had hoped. Carl Farber has succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventure. What? What? What does that mean? I just took a chain. As is there going to be bondage? Hey, there we go. Journal, map, options, documents, inventory, inventory. Chains. I have chains. Pincer. I got two fire starters, twisted fire starters, an empty bottle for some reason. Matches, which I imagine would be also fire starters. I guess not. And Polaroid film. Okay. Equipment. This must be it. Flashlight, journal, map. Let's check out the map. Uh, oh, hey. I'm down there. Oh. Mias Mata flashbacks here. How, how about... So, we're trying to find Hamilton, right? Where would Hamilton even be? There's the general store. That's where I need to figure out how to get to. Without a car. I don't think walking in this... Uh, I don't think walking here would be, would be good. Um, no. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's the map key, I guess. Uh, let's see what else there is. Okay. So. Uh, well, we're not doing much out here. Though this is very warm, we need to continue going up. And let's, let's at least explore some of this area around here. Okay, I'll close the door. We weren't raising Clink. the barn. See what's on top of there. I realize with this blizzard, we might not be able to see much, but you know, we might be able to see something. I don't know. Well, there's a Quebecian flag. I believe that over there is my truck. A lot of woods. An enchanted pond. Mm, not much else. Get down to here, map. Huh. He was tracking my footprint. That's good to know. For how long, I wonder. Well, let's warm up. And then head out again. What the heck would I use the chains for? That's so strange. Well, I have them, but huh. Carl, always diligent in his work, always carried his log on him, in which he scribbled down dots and leads during the course of investigation. Accident. I haven't been this shaken up since Korea. Uh oh. Abandoned car. Who was the car driver? Pull your truck out of the ditch, maybe? What, single handedly? 
Why did they leave so sudden? Good question. Okay, so we have a driver. We have a locked box. Would it be wrong to look inside? Hell no, it wouldn't be long, wrong. Let's... I guess that would be under inventory. I don't see a lockbox anywhere in this inventory. Consumables. Lockbox. This is a consumable? A key is required to open this. Dancy, dancy, dancy. Huh. Dancy, 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 dancy. Alright, anyway. Um, let's see what we can do. I'm not 100% hopeful, but... We'll see. So the survival portion is pretty simple, right? It's just, okay, we're, we need to stay warm. We need to stay healthy. And we need brain... Brain. What is this? I think that's just a stick. Carl's in bad shape. Oh, he needs to heal his wounds. Before he's allowed to drive. Deposit. Ooh. Well, cigarettes are bad for you, but we might need those. Noted. I didn't see any healthware in that house. I guess we'll take one more look. Good to know I got a run button. Okay, first things first, while our engine is running. One last thing. I like that it highlights stuff. Healing, healing. Maybe the chain is for healing? Maybe we can use the chain to heal? Darn it, stop that. Uh, consumables. Cigarettes. Eh, Carl, like many of his contemporaries, feel like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. Cigarette was his own personal breathing assistant. Rations day survivee. Survey. Oh, there are 20 cigarettes in here. Fuck yeah. Get that. Take it. It's got cigs. Is that, was that how I heal? I didn't see. Top shelf. Hmm. See, I agree that I should be able to take this, but for some reason it's not allowing me to punch it or whatever I need to do in order to use it. Normally, when you get close to something, it gives you a little button like that. Ooh, change. In moon coins. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was uh, as well, Ruckus Guest. Equipment. Hmm, nope. I really only have six slots? That's weird. Okay. Well, this is trouble. We're going to die during the tutorial. Cool. I think I'm bleeding out. Why would that be here? It's just a marker, but, I mean, do you need a marker? Can I climb up this? Nope. No, I'll just clunk. Get another log. Oh, 
Okay. My idea is to stay warm here while keeping an eye out for something that I can use to heal myself. Like... What in the Lord's name? Ow! That hurt. Someone was digging out here? Why would you dig under the building? I'm seeing if I can pull something up. Like check down low instead of up high. Nothing's coming off. The digging is done on this side. Huh. Well, uh, we're failing our first mystery, gang. Fragile. Must be French. Well, it's Quebec. I need, I need a fire for this. There. Huh. Okay, well... I'm getting nothing else around here, so... See what else we can do around here. This might not be a good idea, but if things get dangerous, I'll start backtracking. Or I'll run into a mysterious invisible wall. Not gonna do it. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. So, huh. I missed something out of the car, maybe? Check it out. Yeah. Close you. Anything else going on out here? I keep hearing something behind me. That's me. Ah! There we go. Da, na, na, na. First aid to heal my wounds. Well, uh, consumables? Yeah, there we go. First aid kit. Well, I'm warmed up and relatively okay. I guess we'll get in now and see if we can't. Ah, that's what the chains are for. Clinkity, clinkity. There you go. One wheel should do it. I don't need multiple wheels. Yeah, this wheel's fine. This wheel's got plenty of traction. It's just this this uh, one wheel out of four that's the problem. Let's give it a try. Clink. Alright. Yeah, see? Just one wheel. One wheel's all you need. Anything else would be wasteful. You know, it's just... Oh, wow, that's really fast. Um, can I not go that fast? Can I go less fast? Never mind, we're going this fast. Alright, snowy driving in snowy weather. Good times, man, good times. Meeting our friend Hamilton in the worst blizzard Quebec has seen. Maybe this is normal. I don't know. God, it's lifeless out there. You ever, uh, you ever been there, like, in the middle of a snowstorm or rainstorm and it just feels like you're the only person on the planet? Hey, we're in the Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest. Bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and unfilled lakes, the Manistan region was no tourist hub. It was said to have been populated for millennia by the Cree people, and ever since the industrial era, by the metal mining industry. Yep. Greeny people. 
Whoa, whoa, what's that? What's that? Carl was dying to stretch his legs. Yep. But he had to stay focused on the task at hand. The, the task at hand is checking in that guy's mailbox and stealing his mail. God. I gotta. I guess we're going to the general store first. Carl's gotta have a cigarette. He's down to one per finger, and that's not enough. Whoop. The truck was running on fumes. Good thing the general store was close by. Uh. Loading. 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 Wonder, I hope the loading. general store has gas. Loading. I hope I have money to buy gas. Loading. Eh, it's Quebec. It's basically no man's land. It's Frontier City. We can just punch the guy and steal his gas. Oh my god, we could have siphoned gas from that one car! Um. Oh, okay. It's driving itself now. Well, here we are. Oh. I gotta look at the gas prices. What are the gas prices like? Hi there. Gallon, 17.1 dollars per gallon. Who drives into a blizzard with an almost empty tank in the cold weather with no cold? Yeah, I know. Well, Carl does, apparently. Well, wait a second. It's 1970. Can I get some service? Hello? You know, he's running out of gas because he keeps his goddamn truck on all the time. I just steal from this chest. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Okay. Well, let's go inside and see what... Hmm. Something fell to the bottom of the box. Hmm. No, no key. Is there anybody in here? Hello? Dun, dun, oh, dun. shit. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. Well, he had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. Yeah. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had been very close, that the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Click. Clunk, clunk. All right, say fuzzy pickles. Wabble, wabble, wabble. So, there's a handprint on it. Where's the, oh, that's his hand, okay. I only have 30 of these, huh? Alright, well, I mean, it's time for a new mystery, gang. Let's start taking a look around, eh? I'm sorry, this is... This is Canada. Let's start, take a look around, eh? What's going on here? This place is a mess. Agreed. What's this? Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton were dead, then who was going to pay him? Yeah, I need money for my cigs, man. Oh, that was wrong. I have asked him to leave me a handful of cigarettes at my doorstep for the rest of my life. What's this? What could be inside that envelope? Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. He did? It was said to be the address for the P.O. box of the Canadian Secret Service. What? What? John Vaughn, Montreal. What? what did you do that for? We're not done with that document. Bring that document back out. What could be inside that envelope? What a question. Carl was taken aback. He knew this address. It was said to be the address for the P.O. box of the Canadian Secret Service. 
apparently the Canadian Secret Service is at 130523 East Rue, Ottawa 165, Ontario, eh? So, apparently there's nothing to actually read in there. The documents are gone. What are we looking at? We're looking at a guy who was stabbed suddenly, grabbed his chest, fell into this. I don't really see much in the way of of clues in this particular area or any more than normal. The place is a mess. We already knew that. Clum, 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 clum. The fuck? An explosion suddenly occurred outside. Um. It was the outhouse. What the heck is that? What is this? Carl was used to strange phenomenon, mm -hmm. but a chunk of ice like this, as if an iceberg came out of the ground, that was a first. Wolf tracks are leading from it. That makes no sense. Where are these going? Maintaining his composure, Carl recalled something from his military training. Wolves always stay away from populated areas. Wait. Was that about the bears? No, wolves don't stick around populated areas Carl either. felt that the store and its surroundings still held their secrets. And he didn't like to miss out. Like that bottle of sherry up top. Don't know why I'm taking pictures of this, but there you go. Okay, let's back it up a little bit. There's too much here to work out. They just threw pallets over here when they were done with them. While unloading these fragile boxes. I guess fragile is the uh, product they're selling. I don't know, I don't speak Ontarian. Okay. I have a gas? What's going on here? Whoop. Okay, well, uh, one of the things we got in our equipment is a flashlight. And let me just close this real quick. Conk. Uh, we got a breaker, breaker. Turn off, no? Electricity's turned off. Why would I want to turn it off? The note explained that the garage and the store could not be supplied with electricity at the same time. Huh. Okay. The note explained yeah, that yeah, the garage and the store could not be supplied with electricity at the same time. So what we need to do is turn off the garage and uh, see what all's going on there. There we go. Thank you very much. Somebody was in the garage. How recent was this? Rats. Need a key to turn off the stuff in here. Jeez, can I not turn off my engine? I'm wasting gas. Alright. Well. Let's find a key. Cigarettes. Can't tell how new that is. I can't tell how warm. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no electricity. Got it. Um. What? No sale, right? Okay, well, that's not helping. Uh, phone in a second. What's this? Kyle knew that Giles Lanchette was in charge of the general store. That made him one of Hamilton's employees. A very angry employee, as Carl could plainly see. 
you know what, Hamilton? I have a frog in my throat. And what pe- when people have frogs in their throat, they do not take risks going to work. Ribbit. Customers could catch it, right? I'm a wise man. Not to worry. I will decide... Uh, I will have a nice doctor's note, which I'm going to get going out to get right now. Sadly, in the meantime, I will have to close down the shop unless you would like to come and fill in for me. I wouldn't dare advise you, after all. You must know how it's done, since it's yours now. With kind regards, your dedicated manager, Gilles. Yeah, fuck you. Well, that didn't help Click. much. <sighs> the snowstorm dude, pummeled everything dude, in its path. Dude. Carl was not surprised when he heard no tone. Oh, I can turn on the pump. Well, actually, I can't, because the freaking power doesn't work. Yeah. Okay, we need a key. You know what? who would have the key? Freaking Hamilton. Uh. Yeah, that was a bunk. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Roof. Sawdust. Do people ask for sawdust. More sawdust. Sure. I guess uh, people like buying Roof. sawdust. Ah, oh, here we go. Tape. Taking that. Absolutely taking matches. Roof. Oh, hey. Uh, According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Carl was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses that he had just gotten his hands on, though. Can't really see how much they owe, though. Oh, there we go. Uh, Eleven dollars twenty cents, eh? Uh, Salmon Monroe. Can I? Can I keep this? I want to keep this. Thank you. All right. Roof. Oh, there we go. Garage key. And that's it. All right, let's go to the garage. Like maybe there's some food inside, Scoob. Conk. Uh, I don't need that right now. Step. Like Step. Maybe it's warm inside. <laughs> okay. Supposedly, the power is on here. Okay, the power is on nowhere. Where's the power supply? Where's the power? Where's anything? Oh, I'm a friggin' moron. So, okay, I just it just occurred to me what the heck was going on. I thought I had to come over to the garage to turn that off. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Here's how this works. One side is the garage, and the other side is the store. I need to turn off the garage and turn on the store. Okay. Atsuno. Maybe what we need to do here. Probably not. So maybe what actually happened is the main line. Yeah, the generator's still down. Mm. Ooh. Broken clock, how convenient. Battery operated too. Okay, so we need to get some. Uh, ruffle, ruffle. Secretary wouldn't be luxury in here. Or would be. We need something to fill. Because if that's true, then the gas tank for the generator is bleh. I don't even have an option to start it. What? When did that happen? Well, I mean, unless I want to get electrocuted, how about we turn that off? Okay, well... 
Maybe fly. Whoa! That was weird. Lost control there for a second. Hmm. Shunk. Oh boy, trash. What? Let it be known that you're nothing more than a brigand. Hate was in the air. Seemed like some villagers barely tolerated each other. Huh. Carl the detective. Part raccoon. I'm calling it now. Carl is a raccoon. Alright, we're looking for pliers in here. Hmm. Cleaning. The cleanest spot in the area is the paper towels. Sure, I'll take some nuts and bolts. Oh, there are yeah. the pliers. Na, na, na. Uh, nothing else here. I've noticed that I haven't been getting... Have I been getting colder? Oh, I'm at half cold. I might need to start looking for logs in all the wrong places. Looking for logs with two faces. All right. Let's fix this up. Carl was no electrician, but he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. There we are. Okay. Now. Excuse me. It's cold out there. All right. So Jeez. cold already. Son. Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Well, we got something. There we are. Not sure how good an idea that is. So what we got here. Dead Hamilton. People didn't like him. People owed him debt through the general store. Unless he was holding that above their heads. I mean, beer. No thanks, I prefer my beer cold. Have you not looked outside? Yeah. Click. Turn on pump two and... Is there anything else around here? Just taking a little quick look. Read flyer. Is that the same flyer? Quebec's Klondike. Uh, the northern economy is booming. The north of this word area's population will soon reach 30,000 souls. Not bodies, just souls. Among which, thousands of happy families will be prospering thanks to the hard labor of their fathers, who will be contributing valiantly in expanding Quebec's national wealth. Mines and hydroelectricity, hunting and fishing, the true Canadian dream, turn into your own reality now. Okay, everybody on YouTube, if you could, and you're from Canada, is this the Canadian dream? I'm wondering. American Dream is, like, way different. We just want to win the lottery. Anyway. Let's see. The mines, a sector f in full expansion. Did you know that since 1960, Canada tripled the amount of uh, resources, royalties it collects? Oh, man. I am tired. Did you know that the country's two true source of wealth, richness is lying under your very feet? At this very moment, look, look at the ground. You could be digging. Why aren't you digging? The building of our schools and our hospitals de depend on minerals. Exploiting our resources, the road to our future. Some. Click. Whoa, I didn't mean to hit that. Somewhere there is an uh, Indian crying. Uh, can I get... I, I want to read the back of that, and I didn't make it there. Flip. Flip. All right. County of Manistan and its people wish to see you very soon. Very 
70s propaganda, so elegant. No kidding. We got here. Jumping from that height was akin to tempting death. Perhaps that man on the snowmobile had seen enough of this world already. I don't think that's true there, Carl. A nice picture of the Migasin Le Chance store. Seemingly taking the day it was first open. It feels frozen in time from an era long forgotten. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling it. The voiceover is actually Carl the raccoon. Amateur snow hunters showing some pride at having killed a nice belted beast. It, with men like this roam the area, wolves would become extinct within ten years. Carl thought. Is that a Great Dane? Have they killed and skinned a Great Dane? Whoa. Didn't even travel half the Providence. Okay, um... Well, we got a dead body. We got people that don't like the dead body. Something I want to do... Click, click. Let's check out the garage. Alright. And then we'll go after those wolves, I guess. See what that's all about. This light should turn on now. There we go. Alright, well, let's take a look around here. Take, take a look around. Take a look. Oh, God. I am so tired. I'm so sorry, everyone. Huh. The crowbar was stuck under the lift. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. It is now. At long last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in Oof. handy at some point. Oof. Oof. I did not believe it. Oof. Carl the raccoon is actually a, uh, a descendant of Gordon Freeman. At least we know it's fragile. Anything else underneath? No? Alright, let's close it then. I cannot. This this car is permanently held up now. Not much else going on here. Well three raccoons in a trench coat. Carl is three raccoons in a trench coat, and one of those trench coat wearing tra uh, raccoons. Oh, is a uh, a narrator. Shunk. Hmm. Nothing juicy in here. What is that? Carl was beginning oh. to know the store and its surroundings like the back of his hand. The seeker had sought. What does that mean? Carl, you need to come up with some some other ways of putting things. You're starting to creep everybody out, Carl. Okay. We're getting pretty close to an hour, so we need to find some way to save. Hmm. What I need is wood. I guess these logs are too big to put into, uh... Oh, there's whole ricks of wood over here. Go. Plus one log. And let's throw it in here. Seems like I have fire starter and matches and everything. There we go. And it's nice and warm. Okay. So that's saved. Um... 
Let's call it right here. Then uh, it's, it's starting to get interesting, and I'm starting to kind of like it too. But that's going to be the end of today's episode, I feel. Even though it's a little bit early, uh, I'd say it's a good start. And might be story-driven. Not sure about the mystery. So far, it's just basic... Um, What's the word? It's your basic adventure game mechanic. Uh, that said, I am intrigued and mildly aroused by this narrating raccoon and his two friends in a trench coat. So with that said, <sighs> let's go ahead and get out of here. Effects provided by Mike in the background. <sighs> All right. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. And uh, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to hit that heart button and smash that um, follow, I guess. And don't forget to eat your greens. Good enough. All right. Good night, everyone.